Hi, I'm Barb from Barb's Fine Art in Marion, Iowa. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how I start making a sculpture like this. I did this yesterday, so I had some idea of how to show you. I've made pieces so I can put this together fast. So I'm going to start with the body. Na naturally, I would do a better job in this, but if I want to make it look a little like that gal and bent over, I'm going to smash it down and bend it over. Then I would spend a lot of time on it, but today I'm just going to show you how I would put the legs on. I made like little hot dogs like things. I can put them more than one way. I found out that they don't stick as well if I put them on from the bottom, so I'm putting it on from the top. And yes, I would work a long time getting this to look good. So I'm going to take where the knee would bend, bend it up, and bend out a foot. Remember there's bones in there, so you can't make a curve, you got to make a straight bend, and bend out the foot. And I have the legs kind of positioned like she's sitting down. Yes, we would work with this all together, but since I'm going to smash it in the end, I'm not going to spend time doing that. And then I would take and put the arms on, and I probably bent her down too far for this yet. I'd Take an arm, it's a big arm, it's an awful long arm, let's make it smaller. Roll it out, kind of, be nice if I just cut that in half. Let's just cut it in half. Make her a skinny arm. Okay, I'll put an arm on here, bend it around, take it under here and wrap it around. And yes, that's too long, but we're just playing today. Take this arm out and around and bring it up to her shoulder. So I have that much started. Leg fell off, but you know, get the idea. See that? And then, usually when you do a head, you put something down the middle to hold the head on because the heaviest, head's the heaviest part. But since I'm just doing this today for fun, I'm gonna take the head as a ball and a cone. So I would wanna take some of this clay out back here bring it down maybe for the neck and see we got a ball and a cone and then I make this face a little bit better and kind of give me a shape of a face a bit so you get a better idea sort of okay and what I always 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 do when I'm doing a face and I do the head first so I can make the body match the head because it's easier to make the body match the head than it is to make the head match the body for me. I don't know about you. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle. I'm gonna draw a line from the top of the head to the bottom here, halfway across. And that's where my eyes would go, whoops. My eyes would go on that line. I can make the dent that way, or I can take a pencil, or I can take my fingers and make a hole for the socket, and sometimes I don't even mind not having the eyeballs in there, but lots of times I go ahead and put the eyeball on. I can put the eyebrow on, and halfway, halfway between the eyebrow and the bottom chins, I'd make another mark, and that's where the nose goes. You can pinch in here and bring the nose out, or you can add clay to it to make a nose. And we, most, most races, that dimps in above the eyebrow, so we're starting to get a little bit of dent on the side of the face, see that? And I could bring a nose on. We might have a Jimmy Durante nose here, but it won't matter because we'd go back and work on that nose a long time. So halfway between the nose and the bottom of the chin would be the mouth. So, and the mouth goes out as far as the pupil to pupil. And I would go ahead and pile a lip on if I wanted to. A little bit of clay here break it off, tap it down in the middle, because you got the, most, most people have that little dent in the middle. Then I'd work it out, and work it out. Then I'd take another piece of little clay, and this is way too fat, and put a bottom lip on. Now the bottom lip is shorter than the top lip, so I break it off, and I sort of have a bottom lip and I smooth it out and then I give him a chin. But what I want to show you next is 
the eyebrows to the bottom out and the bottom of the nose out is where the ear goes and it would be halfway out here too so about halfway out the ear goes <coughs> and it's like a C put it in there and we have an ear sort of in place and if I wanted to take the rest of this clay and make a chin, I could do that and work it in. But anyway, that's the start of a face, and it gives you some idea what to do. So now I'm going to take and put a neck on, and I would stick something in there like a wire or something to make it hold on there. Stick the head on. I'm going to do it this way this time. And since the leg keeps falling off, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to crunch it down to give it an attitude. Okay. So when I stick the leg back on again, if I can fix your, uh, figure out where it goes. Anyway, it's good enough. And if I want to put hair on, there's a lot of ways to do hair. Can you see? I can take it this way. I can do little hair lots which I do sometimes. I do it different every time. Or I can take and squeeze this all out and make a flat bunch of hair and keep piling the hair on like this. And I can take a tool and make hair this way. But th there's, you can come up with your own way too. There's just lots of ways to do hair. But see, it starts doing that. And that's the way I did this one looks like a monkey, but that's okay. That's the way I did this hair. So, have a good time trying this. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in one of my classes soon. I, m my address is 7886th Street, Marion, Iowa. My website is www.barbspineart.com. My phone number is 319-373-1090. Hope to see you soon.